Hello again. Today we have uh, yet another Acer laptop for uh, disassembly. We have to open the laptop, replace the thermal paste, clean the fans, the regular procedure. Uh, the model is Acer Aspire A715-71G. Uh, let's start. The first thing, of course, we have to remove the cover for the memory and the cover for the hard drive. The laptop has some cracks on the, the chassis here. It's not in a very good condition, but anyway, we have to open it and clean it. We have to take out the hard drive. There are four screws which are holding the drive. We have to leave the drive and disconnect it from the from the cable. Now we have to remove all the screws. We have some broken ones which are tight. Like I said, the laptop have The laptop is not very in good condition. We have cracks here, missing plastic here. All the screws are the same size, so the back cover should come off, if I remember correctly on this model, but we'll see. We have a broken hinge here. We have Now let's start, we're going to separate the plastic Yeah, like always, we forgot the screw. Nothing new. Yeah, somebody tried to glue this. First thing, of course, we'll disconnect the barrier. We don't want to accidentally short something. Now we're going to remove the screws which are holding the fans. Somebody put a black tape here. We're going to do the same after that. As you can see, we have the Voodoo dust. Now we have to take out the screws on the cooler. We're gonna clean the paste, replace it with a new one, and reassemble.
move the cooler a little bit left to right. Ah, we have a screw, sorry. Always double check the screws. Like this. We have the thermal pads intact. We have the, the thermal paste. Now we're gonna clean Like always, I am using a dry Q-tip. Let me try to zoom a little bit. No, not like this. I hope it can focus, but yeah. I like to use a dry Q-tip to clean the old paste. Like this. After cleaning like this, I'm going to put some alcohol and clean the rest. <laughs> nice and shiny. Now I'm going to clean the fans. I'm gonna use a vacuum cleaner, so I'll stop the video for now, just to not make it very loud, and we'll be right back. Uh, I did forgot to clean the cooler, so I have to do this also. I did clean the fans, they are sealed so I can't uh, disassemble them all. Now let's put the new paste. I am using Arctic MX4 as usual. Don't put too much. Now, let's put the cooler back, try to align everything, just move it like this a little bit left to right in order to spread the paste evenly and then just put the screws back. Now I have to put the fans back. Both fans are the same, so uh, you can't put them on the wrong place. But if you want to be 
exactly the same. You can check the, the cable aligning. Connect the fan first, otherwise it will be much harder for you after that, if you put the fan first. And now we have to use the same technique. Like the previous shop did. We have to leave it the way we found it. So now the only thing that we have to do is just connect the battery back. And check the screws on the hinges, that's very important because if they start getting loose you may broke the plastic around them. So right now we have to put this thing back, those plastics are terrible. Now. have to put the hard drive back, close the covers and test of course.
Now let's see. Yeah, we have a picture. Yeah, we run BIOS, i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And we are ready. I'm going to clean the laptop on the outside a little bit because it looks a little messy. And that's the whole procedure. I hope you like the video. Bye bye for now.